Hello, everybody. So this is a canvas that I bought at a local, um, just general store. Oh my goodness. My little daughter just walked in with a snack. Anyway. Yes, I'm doing a painting. So I'm doing, I found these, uh, like canvas art on sale. Uh, for like three dollars for an 18 by 18 canvas which is fantastic since it gives you the the extra um, extra width on the side it's you know it's like that instead of the regular canvas which is like that so I'm just sort of propping up the center so that it won't sink here in the middle but not prop it up too much because then it'll all flow out. So hopefully I've got it to a good level here. Anyway. Mama, yeah. Mama. Yes, Mama's phone is taking a video. Okay, so I'm doing a, a crashing wave with the blow dryer. I've done one like this before, almost a year ago. Uh, I did that on a 24 by 24 salvaged canvas. So this is a little smaller. Yes, that's a painting too. Okay, so this is gonna be a back and forth talking video. Anyway, so I've got a great big cup of white, which is almost twice as much as I planned to make. That's Sergeant White. Then I have this Prussian Blue, which is Blick um, Thalo Blue mixed with black. It makes this lovely semi-transparent color. Then I have Sergeant Metallic Blue, I have Apple Barrel Tuscan Teal. I have this uh, pale bluish gray house paint and this Apple Barrel uh, Purple Iris or it's some dark purple. I don't remember exactly the shade. Okay, so I've, uh, I've painted the sides blue where the wave is gonna be. So let's go ahead and start putting paint on the canvas. So here's my white. White. Okay, let's blow that. So let's start layering on some colors. Okay, go upstairs. Okay, go get a drink. So I got this dark, dark blue here. That's lovely. And some of this teal. Looks like a good place to start making my wave. Um, let's add some of this purple. I don't want a ton of purple, but I thought it would be a nice accent. That's probably all I will need for the whole thing. Here's my light blue color. All gone? Okay. Well, I didn't think that I was going to end up with a really... Um, really green wave, but that teal is prominent. I don't mind, it's a great color. Mm -hmm. 
So I've tried to use um, paint from a number of different uh, brands in this in this painting because um, that's often what makes a great cell reaction is when you, the different um, brands of paint are mixing together. Let me just add a little bit more of this green here along the edge. A little bit back here. Okay. I'm saving a bit of each color just because I don't know if I'll have to go in and touch up. Okay, I also have a little bit of leftover Amsterdam white, which I'm going to drizzle through here just to see whether adding one more brand of paint will give me a little bit more effect. Okay. And I'm going to take some more. I didn't see, I still needed a bigger negative space than what I had. So I'm just going to sort of spoon that in, spread it out manually. Okay. Alrighty, everything is covered. I have enough paint that should blow over these corners, no problem. Alright, I'm excited about this. I think my paint is too thick. I tried to mix it up thin enough, but I don't think it's quite thin enough for the ideal flow. So I am getting cell reaction, but I'm kind of having to blow it really hard to get that. It's not flowing automatically. Um, it's looking really cool though. I really like how these colors are playing together, the greens and the purples and the blue and all of that. Um, alrighty, let's keep working it. Here has like blended a lot more and down here it's very I don't know if it's just thicker or what but it's stayed a uh, much more kind of solid color um, I like the look of both I don't know I probably like this look better which is where it's blending more um, so We'll see if, let me see if I can get this a little bit more blended. Well, I certainly added a lot more of the negative space, but I didn't really pull the colors. Okay. Let me work here on the crest, and then I'll see what I need to do once the whole thing has had its initial some stickers wow okay so I can already tell there's a problem here I have this giant blob of light blue um, and as I blow that is all that's going to be in the crest so I'm just going to scoop that up and add some more white here to make it to make it flow to make it you know now it's a multicolored wave tip 
instead of just that light blue. It's a great light blue color, but by itself it's kind of, it's not as pretty as a bunch of colors all together. Okay. Now I've probably added way too much. So let's just even that out a bit. Alrighty. Okay, I'm sort of bringing my tip down and then I'm gonna blow it up this way. Okay, I'm going to try coming in now from this way and blowing it down rather than blowing it up. Is a very very cool effect it's looking neat I just have to figure out how exactly I'm going to um, fine-tune it because it definitely needs fine-tuning I am covering my edges just because the priming that I did on the sides was not very significant all right it's a cool shape it's a neat it's a neat shape I like the shape there's just there's certain lines here that I think detract from the crash I need to work here in the middle and I need to work here where these colors are so uh, blocky because a lot of it is very kind of mixed together but these are blocky all right that's looking better breaking up those color blocks a bit Yes, you heard me say the word block. So I'm liking this a lot better. Very cool sort of jaggedy pattern happening here now. 
they're still solid colors, but they're broken up more. And there's more lacing that I've been able to pull out from this white. So I like that. Okay, now the last section is this crest here. I'm actually going to just rotate this because I have a little yeah, thing underneath to hold up the center and I don't want to move that. But now I can work on this crest uh, without moving to the other side of the table. Um, all right. Hey, kitty. Okay, so the first step is this line. I want to get that out of here. All right. That's already looking better. Now I'm going to blow this way to small. That's helping a lot, just blowing the white across in kind of this jagged pattern. All right, so this is getting more definition. Now it just needs to get more pattern. Now I'm gonna try to blow with my mouth this way. So now I'm going to try to get this edge looking a little bit more something or other. There's a lot of white paint here, so I'm trying to bring some of it up. Okay, so this shape, it's like it's too square here. I want to bring that shape around this way some. That's a better shape. Now it just needs to be softened a bit. Okay, it's looking much better. There's a little bit here where the color has gotten out into the white. take away add some clean and some of this too it's just getting muddy so I'm just gonna sort of scrape it up and we'll come back with some plain white on top to continue what I was going for this is why I mixed up lots and lots of white, and I still have way too much. I have way more than I need, which is fine because white paint never goes to waste. Okay, so that's a much better shape. That is the shape I want. I'm happy with the design that's down here. 
and all across. I wish there was a little more lacing, but we've got the jaggedy effect here. Here we have more lacing, less jaggedy. Um, let me see if I can bring one more line of something coming this way. Just to really make it look like it is coming from there. Okay. Um, so the last thing is this, this edge just needs a little bit more softening. It's hard to know whether I really want to push to get stuff softened or whether I just am happy with the clean edges that I have. Um, but I'm really, really happy with this wave overall. Thank you for watching. This is beautiful. There's lacing, you know, delicate lacing at points. There's this nice sort of jagged wild effect as well as the nice sort of flowing from one color into another. And then I'm really, really happy with how that crest turned out. Yeah, I like that a lot.